Okay, today's interview for Coconuts TV is with Peter Rathley, who joined Cambridge United at the start of the 1960-61 season. Uh, Peter, thanks very much for the opportunity to come and speak to yeah. you uh, today. Right. It's nice to be here in Sheridan. Yeah, thank you very much. much. Peter, let's talk about your early life family and that sort of thing. Where were you born? Yeah, I was born in Portsmouth in uh -huh. 1936. Uh, one of ten children. Yeah, I was, I was the second youngest. And uh, my mum died when I was ten year old, so we had a hard life, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Understood. And okay. uh, so, so school locally. Yeah, I left school at fourteen years old. Okay. And went into decorating. So fourteen years old, we are somewhere around nineteen fifty. Yes. Yeah. 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 And and you became a, a decorator as as you. Yeah, yeah. Started on, uh, okay. with a local firm. Right, so was yeah. that an apprenticeship? This time? Yes, yeah. yeah. But at that time, when you were in school and that sort of thing, obviously you, you had an interest in football. Oh yes, um, all, Local all, team. all the time. I used to come home from school and near me, the, the Navy players used to play near the, the Vern and the, the Navy yeah. barracks. Yeah. And I used to always go over there as soon as school finished, I was over there watching oh, right. and then kicking the ball about. And then I got a bit old, and we then I belonged to the Port Sea Rotary Club, uh -huh. and um, we had a good strong team. Okay. Did yeah. you did the school have a team? Did you play school football? Yeah, play school 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 football. Okay. Yeah. And and obviously uh, when you I mean you you, you developed your way through. You began to play a wee bit more serious. Yes, I, I played a lot stronger then. Yeah. And uh, then I played for the representative teams for for the school boys. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then later on our Rotary Club. Then when we got to eighteen, mm -hmm. we, we joined the men's league. Yes. And then after that, I was uh, the manager of Guildford. He used to be an ex Pompey player. Uh -huh. He he came and wanted me to play for Guildford, which I did do. I had a few, three or four games. Okay. For them. Which position were you playing at this time? Then Peter, where did you play on the field? Centre forward. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, after a while, he, he got the manager's job at Exeter. Oh, right. And uh, he said, well, I'll go down there. Yeah. And I was all chuffed, really. Oh, yeah. okay. But it was a bit lonely, sort of thing, going down there, mm. all on your own. But mm. uh, I did enjoy it. So how did your career in decorating go? <laughs> well, uh, that, that went on, on the wayside. I yeah, on hold. Yes, that's right, on yes. Hold. Good. And, okay. uh, so you were in Exeter? Yes. Um, and you started, was this full time? Yes, full time. Yes, yeah. yeah. Was it as a, as a youth player or as a as no, a? No, I was. Player? I was going in the army first, the national service. Then yes. I came out when I was eight, went in when I was eighteen, and came out when I was twenty. Right, good. Yeah. So we're getting now towards the um, getting towards the mid fifties, and, and you're about twenty, twenty, twenty one years yeah. age. And you're you 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 did you come back to Exeter after the the national service? Yeah, and I went. To extra before after I commit the oh the okay army. okay yeah. right so that's yeah. the, the sequence was yeah uh, uh, army then exeter yeah fine good that's nice and okay. I was there for for four years okay yeah. and how did you how did you didn't, didn't, didn't get big money or anything like that but uh, and uh, first season I was mainly in the reserves and yes. then I did get selected for the first team mm -hmm. at, at Watford and I mean I scored two goals. Because we're, we're nearly always at the bottom of the league. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a long way for people to come, really, Exeter. They don't want to know, really. But the same with Plymouth and places like that. Yeah. Know. Yeah. But uh, we've heard that when teams like Cambridge went to Exeter, they would quite often try and arrange two games within three days. Yeah, that's right. So they could yes. play Exeter yeah. and maybe yeah. play yeah. Plymouth or something like yeah. that. Same thing. And then Good. Cambridge United were in the, the same Southern League. Mm -hmm. As, as extra reserves. Okay. So yes, I played, yes. played against him a few times. And okay. then So you you were, were you happy in Exeter? Was it a good club to play for? Oh yes, yes, very good. Yeah. I take it it's where you learned your, 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 your apprenticeship really, you said your in terms of growing from a boy to a man. That, that's right, yeah. In football in terms of Yeah, but the, the manager who took me he got the sack after the first year. And then and I thought, well, I don't know what's gonna happen now. But then Frank Broom, the old England player, yeah. he came there as, as manager mm -hmm. and I was quite happy again then but then they decided to go part time and then okay. I thought no I'm not going to sign yeah. there 
I'd rather be at home and with my own surroundings, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. but, um, so from Exeter, what was what was your next move in terms of career? Alan Moore used, used to come and watch, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and as soon as the season finished, he, he, he came for me and I'd come up to Cambridge and, and signed on. And then went back home again, and then come back for the season. So okay, that's the, now the one one little quirky fact we've we we we've managed to dig up is is that at the same time as you signed for Cambridge United, there's one of your relatives. Yeah, and my nephew, Paddy Paddy Graffin. Yeah, it's, uh, I, yeah. I was trying to figure out how that worked, but you were the youngest and second youngest in ten. Yeah, he, 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 he was much younger. Okay. Yes, he, he was much younger, and he, he played a few games, but. Uh, okay. That they, they could, Cambridge and I, you know, they they were struggling for money as well as well at those times. Yeah. So they, they they didn't keep him very really. You know. Okay. So this is the bit that obviously is is as, as Cambridge United fans we are we are really quite interested in, and that is tell us how you felt about what was the feeling when you came to Cambridge first? Was it different from Exeter? Was it similar? Was the were the clubs different? What was it? Well, it was a it was a bit different, of course. Um, being, being a full time at a league club yeah. is a bit different than coming into a mm. southern league club. Yeah. Where more, you know, you're probably more happier in a sense, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. But uh, a bit less intense. The only trouble is that half of us at Cambridge, the, some of them were part timers who, who lived away, oh, okay. you know, so you didn't have a lot of people training at the time. Yeah. Let, um, me, let me throw a couple of names towards you. Did you play with Phil Hayes? Phil a Hayes. A London boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did, yeah. Do you remember Phil? Yes. Yeah. 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 Bit of a it was between me and him near the end of the season, who was who should be in the team. Yeah. And and I started sort of scoring a few goals so I was in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They said as soon as he stopped scoring, he'd be out. <laughs> but um <coughs> that didn't happen. Then I I, I, bro I broke my elbow yeah. and like, no. Sorry, can we, can we stick just for a second? I'm not yeah. being rude, sorry. Yeah. Can we stick for a second just to the some of the players you played with? Brian Busted. Yes, yeah. Name who yeah. Comes across. And yeah. Sam McCorry. Sam yeah. McCorry. Yeah. Irish International. Yeah, big, yeah. big, big, big yeah. Yeah. good player. Alan Smith, goalkeeper. Dave Deacon. Yeah. yeah. Freddie Owls. Alan Gammy. He was a boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dennis Woods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who were your friends in the team? But, well, most of us were, were, were friendly t together, yeah. you know. Yeah. But, uh, and did you live locally whenever you came to Cambridge? Yeah, I, I, I lived in Curly Smart's mum's house okay. in Deeks, yeah. 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 I lived there all the time and then I met Jill, my wife, my wife to be, at the uh -huh. time. and then I used to stay over at Cherry Hinton quite a bit, that's where Leeter Road, where they, where they live. Uh -huh. and, um, so tell us a little bit about that, that that team in your life then, because when you had moved here, it's still quite a young boy. You know, we tend to think of yeah. mid twenties as being grown up. But yeah. You're, you're yeah. still a young boy in yeah. reality. Yeah. It must have been quite a lonely existence for a while at first. Yeah. Oh yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you you were taken in and with the, with the smart family. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Who, yeah. who, as you, you've said to me, were, and Jules' family were very good yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, now uh, just 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 to, to reinforce that you said the smart family were very good to you. Yeah, and, yeah. and Reg, did you know Reg? Reg, Reg yes, yeah. 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 Okay. Who later to become a leading light? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. He, um, but obviously he, he was married at the time, so he didn't live in the same house. But then then he was the one who got us doing the terrace in it at, at the football ground. Tell us about that. Tell us about that. I mean, we we know the terracing as it is. Yeah, but obviously the, before then. Well, I mean, the, 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 there was when they had one little stand there. That that was all. <coughs> the other side used to be the ab abin stand. Yes, there. it still is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had to make the the steps up with big concrete. So because that was that was railway sleepers before yeah, then. And railway sleepers yeah. as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And how yeah. did how did you manage to get involved in that? Well, well we were near enough told. We were rich. <laughs> Yeah. Red was there, sort of thing. Yeah, you, you've got nothing to do in the afternoon, so you can come and help. <laughs> I can see, I can't see that happening yeah. today. No, no, not at all. Oh, no. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you let's 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 get on towards your, your footballing time at Cambridge. Um, your first your first game, I think you scored a goal in your first game, did you not? 
No, no, no. I think okay. Roy Kirk scored the goal in the first ah, game. Okay. okay. See, I haven't got all all the information there. No, no, that's fine. I that's didn't fine. collect that's anything. Fine. No. You know, as any Jill. Yep. Started cutting bits out of the paper, but uh, the, the, oh. the the information I have, Peter, is that you that you played your first game in the twenty ninth of August, nineteen sixty, yeah. and it was a two two draw. In Colby, I think. That's that's fine. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely fine. And that's great. Right, so so you you, you, you seemed to have alternated between centre half and centre forward. Yes. How did that come about? How did that manage to? How, why did that come well, about? Well, I, I, I came as a centre forward really when, when Alan Moore was, was watching yeah. me. Yeah. But then Roy Kirk was the main man uh -huh. at centre half. But obviously he must have been injured at times, so I was there. And then I used to play inside right or inside left uh -huh. and centre uh -huh. forward. Uh -huh. But um, uh, after that, I'll, 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 I'll even play wing half. So different yeah. names in those yeah. days. Yeah, no, and <coughs> yeah. say yeah. forward. I know, yeah. you know exactly yeah. what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alan, Alan Moore suggested that your your height in your stature was was made for, for the footprint line. Yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, I used to love playing against Cambridge City. Yes. Derek Derek Weddle, uh -huh. because he, he was he was a good player, but. He didn't like being knocked around or anything like that. <laughs> there were big, yeah, big crowds yeah. for those games yeah, as well, weren't they? Scored a lot of goals for the for Cambridge City. No, there were big. They, these were big games. Yeah, oh, oh yes, yeah, oh yeah. Do you remember any of the, the derbies? I mean, yes, I remember. I played in one game, and we actually drew at home in, in the cup. Uh -huh. But the, the pitch was, I mean, the, the pitch was terrible. Mm -hmm. It was muddy nearly all the time yeah. you, you played on it. But then I got injured. The following week, and they played the city away, and, and they actually won. We we won that game, but I wasn't there to. Ah, okay. <laughs> Tell us the difference. At the time, there was a big city rivalry between City and United. What was the difference between the two clubs in, in to your mind? Well, I think the, 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 the city were were much higher at, at the time, weren't mm -hmm. they? Because Cambridge United you know, were in the in the next yes. league down. Mm -hmm. But they, Mr. Smart and that, they would never go across the river, even if you United were playing them, you know. Would they not? No, no. Okay, that's, <laughs> okay, okay. that's the old Mr. Smart there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And there used to be big crowds for these games. We've heard of crowds of up to 10,000. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Can't imagine that. Today. No, no. I wonder where they're all gone to, really. Yes, yeah. yes you do. Yeah, and there was two teams in Cambridge, weren't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The United didn't get all that many, probably 3,000 at, at the most, I would have thought, mm -hmm. apart from those sort of games. Yeah, but we've, <coughs> we, we've, I'll try and jog your memory here. We've heard of one particular goal that you scored that you may remember as an overhead kick. Yes, against Spartan Albion. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah, I do, yes. Tell us about it. I didn't know it had gone in, but <laughs> could I turn around and see it going in? Tell us how it happened. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Us, tell us what you remember of that. Well, I was, I was really excited when it, when it happened, when it just come across and I just went and, and that, that was in. Overhead kick. Yeah, yeah. Kick, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah it's, it's commented on, when any, when, whenever we mention Peter yeah. Rapley to anyone, they say, overhead kick, yeah, yeah, what a goal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you were delighted. Yeah. It's interesting just to hear that little <laughs> snippet that says he didn't know it was an interview. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Never thought of that before. No? Great stuff. Okay. Um, you, you didn't have the best end to your season no, that year, I didn't, no. in the Peterborough Cup. Tell us yeah. what happened. Well, it was, it was a floodlit match against Whitspeech, I think it was. Okay. In the Thames Cup or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and I just went down, put my hand down, and that was it. It just snapped the elbow. Yeah. And I, I couldn't walk off. I get carried off and took me to Adam Brooks. Yeah. And I was there a couple of days and then had to go back again. To have it redone again, but uh, so how bad an injury was it? Uh, yeah, tell us about it. So that was, was really bad. Yeah, yeah. So it was a d double break. And yeah, because I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even get my arm up to to shave or yeah. because I mean, the plaster was about this thick. Yes, you know, yeah. all the way down. Yeah, a uh, bit different nowadays, no doubt. If you get a broken arm, they just strap it up and. <laughs> That's it. But that that obviously affected your mobility. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I, I couldn't do hardly anything. I mean. Yeah. I couldn't do, I mean, it was a long time before I could do anything anyway. Yeah. But then, then the season went on and they didn't retire me because obviously they'd have to keep paying me 
just didn't hit them in the head. The last few games at the end I didn't, didn't play, so they had, still had to pay me. And then I went to Wisbeach. Okay, sorry, let me just follow that through for a second and just say, so is, 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 is this totally healed or is it something that affects you today? You know? Yeah, it does, I, I, I can't sort of do a press up or anything like that. Yeah, right. No. So you're yeah. imbalanced with this. Yeah, that's, that's right. Even, yeah. even now after... Yeah, I mean, that, 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 that's as far as I can straighten it out. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And uh, I had to claim money because I was out of work to start with. Yes. And then I uh, said about well, I was injured playing football, which was, which was my job. Uh -huh. And then they, they, I'd keep going for examinations, and they had it as sixteen percent disabled. Uh -huh. And I think they, they gave me two hundred pounds. That's yeah. an industrial injury. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never have thought of that. Yeah, two hundred pounds. Yeah, well, you know, that's quite a bit of money then. Oh yeah, yes, you know, yes, but yes. not enough to no. to live on. So, I mean, I I, I was lucky to go to Wisbeach because they 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 didn't sort of examine me or anything. Okay. Otherwise, they wouldn't have took me on. I don't think. Okay, so tell us about your team then. You've you've left Cambridge United at the end of the sixty sixty one season. Mm, yeah. Um, and you've moved to Wisbeach. Yes. Great. Tell us about your career from then on. How did it How did it go? How did yeah, you know, I, I, I did struggle because. I, I, I couldn't really train in that, you know. Okay. I mean, I did train, obviously, but if any exercises and resting on your own, yeah. I, I just couldn't do yeah. it. Okay. And they, they got wise to it in the end. Mm. But I, I finished the season off there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Jesse Pye was manager there then. Yeah. yeah. And was that, how did your career go from footballing after that? Well, I, I mean, I couldn't go and get a league club because, I mean, I knew yes. I was yeah. Yeah. disabled with that bit yeah. there anyway. And I used to play for the smaller teams around March. I played for, yeah. and so on. Uh -huh. And then in the end, I, I just played for my brother-in-law's local team, Romsey. Uh -huh. Yeah, when I was, uh -huh. when I was really older then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I used to still enjoy it then, you know. Yeah. Much more relaxed. Yeah, different, different pound on Colden's Common and yes. things like that, you know. But <laughs> you would be, uh, you'd be one of the older heads by that. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 good. Okay, now tell me you did. They always thought I was a hard player, but um, uh huh, yeah. uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but in, in those days, you had to be hard. Uh -huh. Now, were you a hard player? Do you think you were a hard player? I, I was, yeah. 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 So, but, I mean, oh, oh. someone to kick you and, and you get your own back later on, but yeah. you wouldn't be moaning about it, you just accepted it. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the man manager's job was on the line as well. So yes. Yeah. You know, he, he, they will say to you, you have to get him out of the game. I'm not, I'm not telling you to kick him, though. Yeah. You know, but yeah. things like that. But, uh, okay. yeah. Now, goalkeepers didn't get nearly as much protection in those days. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you, you could really, really go at them then. It's incredible, really, what you could do. Uh, 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 I mean, they wouldn't hold the ball on now if they did the same thing, you know. Yeah. As long as you've got yeah, that bit of yeah. you know, shoulder. Yeah. Rodney Slack, who played goal. After, yes, just yeah. just after your time, yeah, tells yeah. us that there, there are several occasions that he ended up in the back of the net yeah, with the yeah, ball. Yeah, and it was a goal was given. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. They, they give it. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. Now let's let's think about the the game itself at that time because technology has moved on quite a lot. I mean, the ball today is 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 a, a whole different animal to what it was. Yeah, it so it is. Yeah. So when yeah. you guys played, they had the lace in in, yeah. in the ball then. Yeah. Yeah, and you had that, getting the lace ends of it. And you would know about, know about it. about it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I guess the ball didn't move as much in the no, air. No, no, no. And tell I mean, us, I mean, did it, did it genuinely absorb water? Is yeah, that, it, it did, did yes. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. in, in the end of the season, the pitches have been really quite hard. Yes. They used to soak the ball so it wouldn't pounce too much. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, good. So, to to just just move towards the end game now, you you when your career was over, you stayed in Cambridge. Yes, uh, well, I, I got married <coughs> to Jill uh, when I left United. <coughs> okay, yeah, okay. What were you doing for uh, for, for work at that time then? How, how were you working after your football? Well, uh, Curly Smart gave me some work. Okay, just on my own at one time, uh -huh. and because um, he used to build houses. Yes, and then when well, I got. And I knew Pete Young's when I played at March. Okay. 
and we got together because he was a decorator as well. Okay. And we went together. Uh -huh. And Curly used to give us quite a lot of work. Mm -hmm. We done some some, some good work actually. Mm. We used to work at Anglesey Abbey. Oh yeah. Places like that. Lord Fairhaven's flat flat in London. When you say a flat, <laughs> yeah, two million pounds then. <laughs> you know. But, you uh, um, quite a lot of the colleges I used to work in. Yeah. Okay. And you always you, you decided by that stage that Cambridge is where you wanted to. Yes, yeah, to, yeah. to, to live your life, which is great. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd like to go on back to Portsmouth personally. Uh -huh. Yeah. But it's, I mean, that's, that was my home. Uh -huh. Jules here, so yeah. and her family's here. But um, I'm the only one left of my family of the of the ten. Mum and dad Gosh. and the other nine. Yeah. But you brought up your family here now. You've got you've got an extended family now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yes. How many sons? Yeah, two sons. Yeah, two sons, yeah. yeah. How many grandchildren? Three, three grandchildren. Who's three there? So I'm going to ask you. You told me a little while ago that uh, your granddaughter was playing in a cup final yesterday. I think. Yesterday, yes. Tell us how it went. Yeah. Well, we, we had a little job to get there to start with because yeah. of traffic. Yeah. They played at St Neots. Okay. Yeah. And we got there, Simon took us, he, but he didn't get, he was picking us up a bit early, but he didn't arrive early. Mm. And then we got on the young a yeah. team, but we missed, it was new and new when we got there. And then they, the other team scored. And then we equalised just for half time, because they weren't playing very well at all. And I said to Tim, I said, do you want someone up in the front? They, they were all wandering away from the centre, you know. And I thought, I don't have a word with you, I shouldn't really. but. Uh, and when the second half started, they had someone up right up there, and and they scored it again. But the other team equalised, and, and then they scored three more goals. And the referee, he played about one hour for the second half. <laughs> People were getting injured, and, yeah. and he, he was had he would kept looking at his watch, and then they'd be playing on, and then you look again, and then ten minutes later, he was, they were still playing, yeah. and they were all shouting at him because <laughs> if. Then the other team scored two quick goals <coughs> near the end. <coughs> now, I thought if they score again, it'd be extra time, we'd be I'll there for the terrace down. <laughs> what was all the other ground like the, behind the oh, new market road? Well, you look at some of them photographs, you see it's just, just bare. And, yeah. and the changing room, didn't that used to oh, be in the yeah, corner? That, you couldn't move. You was it in the corner? You turn around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think there were toilets. Yeah. There's one little toilet there. Yeah. And the bath, God, small as anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Peter, it's been a very great pleasure to speak to you. Thank you very much for taking the yeah. time, and we will get you a copy of the interview, a full copy and an edited copy on the internet. That's very so kind. It's been a great pleasure yes. to speak to you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs>